Hey folks, Poverty Point Customs. What we're going to do today is an oil and filter change on my 2016 CF Moto Z Force 800. So I picked up a CF Moto oil change kit, so let's see what's inside. All right, so in the kit comes with uh, three liters of full synthetic uh, 5W40 oil. This is good for our climate. It comes with a crush washer and O rings for your oil filter. It comes with your oil filter. There's the part number. So you're going to need a 17 millimeter sock for your oil drain plug. You're going to need a 10 millimeter. That's to take off your air filter housing. Gives you a little more room to work on. And an 8 millimeter. That's to take off your oil filter housing. Need a pan to drain your oil into. And brake cleaner, parts cleaner, and rags. So we're going to let it warm up to operating temperature. You want your oil to be warm when you're changing it. And while we're letting it warm up, we're going to take out the passenger seat. Take out your little access panel. What I do next is I'm going to take off this cover over the air breather. It's a two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding it on. That way it will give you a lot more room to get in there. All right, so on the passenger side of the engine, what we're going to do is unscrew the dipstick and then we're going to take out the oil drain bolt right there and that's a 17 millimeter and we're going to let it drain into my oil bucket. All right, so while the oil is draining, you want to clean off your drain plug. It's magnetic, so you want to check for any buildup. There's a little bit on there, so I'm glad I'm changing it. So we're going to clean that off real good, and then we're going to put a new crush washer on it. So there was no big chunks on it, just almost like a little bit of sludge stuff on it. So there's our new crush washer, and we'll... Clean up where the drain plug goes in, and then we'll reinstall this. I'm going to let that drain a little bit longer. It's slowly dripping there. So what I'm going to do next is take off the three bolts holding on the oil filter housing. Again, it's a 8 millimeter socket. There's the oil filter we took out. The oil in it actually looks like it was uh, fairly clean, not too dirty. But again, I'll probably be doing this a lot more frequently than the last owner. So before I put a new oil filter in, I want to clean all inside the oil filter housing all up in here. So I'll use a little clean rag in case there's any debris left in there. All right, so you're going to want to put a little bit of clean oil around your O-ring, and then we're going to reinstall it. All right, there's the O-ring installed. And this is the new oil filter. And the hole goes towards the engine, so it's going to get installed this way. Just a little tip when you're putting in the new oil filter you got to push it in a little bit it actually seats in probably half an inch or so and we're going to reinstall the three nuts just want to make a mention too make sure the inside of your oil filter uh, cover is nice and clean all right 
you're going to reinstall your oil drain plug make sure you have a new crush washer on it and this is a 17 millimeter all right the oil drain plug is reinstalled so what we're going to do is clean this area down with some parts cleaner and again your skid plate you can take the skid plate off but you can do it without taking it off all right so we're going to clean all this area off with parts cleaner make sure not to get any in there all right as you can see that's where we're going to put the oil at so i have this tube with a funnel on it so we're going to stick that down and you can see that the tube is in where we are going to fill the oil at and just taking a look from the top All right, so I've added three liters of oil. I've reinstalled the dipstick. What we're going to do next is let it run for a minute and then check the oil level. And you're also going to get underneath and check for leaks. So I let it sit for a minute and then I checked the oil level and it is right on. So it took exactly three liters of oil. So next thing is we're going to reinstall this cover. All right, so you're going to want to install your seat and your little access cover. Should also mention it's also a good time to check your air filter. I didn't check mine because I checked it about a week ago. As well as to grease all your fittings. Again, I did mine about a week ago. And again, this is something that's very simple to do. Anybody can do this with some basic hand tools. Again, this was a CF Moto oil change kit. It was quite expensive. 95, 25 plus tax. It's convenient, but also put down in the comments if you have another oil filter and oil that you use on yours rather than getting the CF Moto oil change kit. Again, I use this for plowing. I did a couple videos on this, installing my uh, Colpin plow as well as uh, setting it up. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. If not, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Take care.